When we left off, we were completing the installation of a new manual windlass on Makara. having an interesting day. There's been a lot of rain here recently. They've had flood watches on all the rivers. And the river that we drive by to get out to the boat here was just full of huge, huge trees. And they are all flooding out into the sound here. So it's quite interesting trying to navigate around and not run into a tree. We left Point Defiance, where we were for a few days. This is the best the weather gets, I guess. Uh, actually, the rain's supposed to subside after today, which is good right now, because we've got nice southerly winds to get us there. Starting tomorrow, they will turn to more northerly winds, which won't be fun, but it'll be nicer weather. Trade-offs. And like Hillary said, we are dodging a lot of stuff, like all this stuff right next to us here, and it is. You can't pick your way through everything here right now. It's just impossible, so avoid the big ones. Uh, we've passed a couple just under the water, and it's kind of scary. Uh, you know, we're moving with the tide and the current right now as well, so we're not bashing into anything, which is good news. Here's a huge log right out here. Look at that. And uh, port or starboard, whatever's easier for you. There's a couple of big ones up ahead here, so. So you're good to port after the one about 100 meters on your port side, and then yeah, stay to port. What a wet afternoon, but uh, we've got a sail down here on the, on the deck here, that's our working jib. But our nice new windlass that worked really well, a little manual windlass, we've got to clear off some of the butyl, but looks really nice, works really well. And Hillary's just putting on a, a snubber here, we're up here in a place called, I think it's Blakely Harbour or? Yeah, Blakely Harbour. Blakely Harbour. And you, well, you definitely can't see it right now, but right there in front of us through the raindrops, that's Seattle. It's a beautiful Seattle skyline, which is covered in the unusual <laughs> clouds of uh, the Pacific Northwest. Who would have thought? We almost beat the rain. The last, like, 15 minutes sailing in here, we could see it coming, and then we just got drenched. And now it's mostly just a little light misty, but wet sail for sure. And we're just in the uh, gusts up into the 30s there. We had that reef, uh, double reef main, but we just dropped it here. You can see it's just laying on, laying on top of the boom, roughly tied up for now. 
as we came in and like we said we got the the working jib this is going to stay out overnight we're going to tie it we've already got it partially tied up on the the front rail here to clear the anchor and we're going to do the same with the rest of this we're just going to tie it up on the lifelines there's no need to put that away tonight it's soaking wet anyway why would we uh and we'll tidy up the main a bit more so it's not going to blow anywhere it needs another needs another line right here we're home for the night we're gonna get that heater going because it's cold and wet the weather at some point to switch around to more westerly and then more northwesterly which will be on the nose for us but we're hoping to make it up to Port Ludlow which is about another 30 miles. The wind does seem to be picking up slowly this morning but not, not what we're expecting I guess uh, that's where the forecast is the forecast. It's a very large area so I think it'd be difficult to forecast it as well. So let's have west winds right now, it's pretty much right out of the east. That could be because it's just past sunrise as well. So that could just be kind of everything warming up, a little bit of an offshore spurt there, um, or an onshore spurt. Uh, it was an interesting night last night, it was well protected, but the, the currents are always the interesting thing up here, or anywhere when there's currents, because the boat goes every, boat goes every which way, but, but loose. <laughs> anyway. It's a nice view over Seattle this morning. We've got the sails up. We do have the motor gongs, so we've got to get somewhere. Now we do still have a first reef in our main, and because we're still gonna rely on the forecast when it's predicting gusts 25 and so on, you don't want to be caught out with large gusts and full sails up. So we're always trying to be more conservative. It makes things a lot easier to handle than trying to put a reef in at, at 25, 30 knots. Um, that's just safer that way. The boat still sails fine. We've got the working jib up front, which is easy to handle as well. As the sun came up, instead of switching around to the north, the wind actually completely died giving us glassy seas for a while before it filled in for the afternoon. Those moments when you come downstairs and you realize it's a lot warmer down here. Back up into the cold. Well, Where are we, we heading? Some beautiful sunshine now. I think that low has passed over and the high pressure system is moving in, which means sunshine and cold air. This will be our port for the day. This weather's been up and down. We started with no wind and then we got some really good wind here at the end. We ended up throwing a reef back in. Where are we heading, Hillary? Heading in straight ahead here is Port Ludlow. Port Ludlow, another really good protected port. Now there is not much here in this, well there is no real town as far as we know, but we're just anchoring here. It's a really nice protected area to be. Uh, we are expecting the weather to lighten up, light winds getting uh, more so over the next few days and they're unfortunately going to be northerly which means we probably won't get too much sailing in tomorrow or the next day because where we're heading is pretty much north but you know us we'll give it a shot anyway. For now though it is time to prepare for the uh, for anchoring and a lot of that is getting our windlass ready or getting our anchor so untying the anchor and getting it ready and if you haven't seen our new windlass yet it looks pretty cool. Not the rain. 
Now just behind these houses on the point is the little alcove of Port Ludlow. It's a very well protected, nice little nook that you can duck all the way pretty deep in. And like most of these ports up here in all of the Puget Sound, I guess, but definitely in this area along the Olympic Peninsula, they uh, came from a logging industry. And there's probably still some logging around, but obviously most of these areas now are all communities and nice little homes. But they would have started, uh, you know, 100 plus years ago and they would have been uh, well used for logging, I think. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please give us a thumbs up and hit the bell to subscribe. Until next time.